Hey, welcome back. Uh, Brad Chadwick again for another, uh, oh, you know what I'm going to call this? I guess a whole movie madness. We'll be talking about uh, shows this time. I haven't talked about TV shows uh, for a while, but I want to go back. I want to talk about some older shows um, that necessarily, you know, don't get, don't get talked about very much. You know, TV shows, you know, things you should pick up. Um, if you really, really enjoy shows, um, things like that. Now, I know a lot of people nowadays, you know, if they're going to watch, like, the older shows, you know, you can watch them on syndication, things like that. But if you want to watch, you know, like, a whole entire, whole entire series, you know, like, uh, I'll go with something recent, like Heroes. Um, you know, you want to buy, like, the whole entire series and just sit down and watch them all. So these are some of the shows that you can buy, you know, and basically have fun with. Now, if you're talking about comedies, you know, some of the good series is to buy um, that have, you know, a long running, you know, amount of uh, collections you can buy is, you know, Scrubs is a good show. Um, you can get that, and that's actually, I think, got seven or eight seasons, I think it went. Uh, Married with Children is another one. It went for, I believe, uh, 10 or 11 seasons, I think, it went for. Um, long time. Um, uh, another one's The Simpsons. Uh, they're more family-friendly, so um, Family Guys, I believe, going on its almost 10th season or something now. Um, craziness. Um uh, American Dad that's actually been out for a while now. Good series. Uh, if you want to go like the older route, you know we're talking about Sanford and Son has his collections out. Uh, Three's Company has a lot of collections out now. Uh, All in the Family, uh, great shows. All in the Family is actually a, a show that's ahead of its time. So if you like if you like Married to Children, you know definitely check out All in the Family if you've never seen it. Um, check out quite. I would actually go and buy like a, a season one set. It would be give, give you like a basically introduction. And if you don't like it. Go pawn it off somewhere or sell it on Amazon, uh, sell it on eBay, whatever you want to do. Um, but it's definitely worth it. If you're a family member of children, you'll definitely like All in the Family. And it came before, way before. It came, like, I think on, like, 10 years or 15 years before Married of Children. It's, like, really, it was, like, really pushed the boundaries back in the day. Um, you know, the, what, what, he, what he says to black people on the show, it's just, like, whoa. It's, like, way before it's time, you know, way before all the... Uh, the outlandish show like Family Guy and everything came out. This guy, Archie Bunker, was out there, and it was just crazy that he got away with all the stuff he said. Um, and there's other shows. Um, uh, Full House is out. If you want the family kind of shows, Full House is out. Um, I think Family Matters. I think they've released those on DVD. I can't be positive. Uh, Perfect. Uh, Perfect Strangers, Perfect Strangers, I believe, has two seasons out. I think they may only have two seasons out right now. Um, I don't think they were on as long as they thought, though. I think they were only on for two or three. I think they're only on 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 TV for like two and a half seasons or something like that. Um, but I believe they have the whole entire collection out now. Um, I think Step by Step may have the season out. I don't remember. Um, some of the ones from the uh, the mid '90s have not yet been released on DVD. I don't think uh, Alf has been. I believe the whole collection has been released on him. Uh, so far, I think I think all the collections have been released, and even the cartoon uh, series was released as well, um, at least in, in partial. I believe it all. I think it all have been released now, because um, there was like a huge bug around Alf for like the longest time uh, when he had that short show on. I think it was VH1 or something like that. He had a short show on there. Didn't last very long. Um, yeah, there's a lot of series. Now, if you want to talk about nowadays, like, a good series to get would be, uh, Prison Break, something you can go out and buy, uh, definitely get Prison Break, get, like, I would try to get the Blu-ray kind, because it's a good, good show to watch, you know, it's something you can sit down and watch all the shows through, um, and really, really be entertained, you know, it's something you wouldn't want to turn off, you would want to, like, just take, like, a week off of work and just sit down and watch it, it'd be amazing, you know, um, Another show would be The X-Files. They had a lot of history there. There's like 10 seasons almost there. I think it actually was like 9 seasons. You know, but I'm exaggerating. Um, but they do have the two mo yeah, the two movies uh, that came out. Like, there was one that came out recently, but I don't think it got really... I didn't even know it came out. That's how, like, I think bad it did the theaters. Or it, didn't do, or it just went straight to DVD, I think. Um, but yeah, great. You know, 9 seasons, 2 movies. I mean... It's a lot of stuff to sit down and watch um, for a show like that. Um, some other shows. If you're a fan of MASH, I guess it's out on um, seasons. Um, you can buy that collection. Um, 
never heard of the Sopranos. I definitely check out the Sopranos. Um, great mob show. Um, Dexter, huge show, still on right now. Um, definitely check that out. True Blood, great vampire show. Um, and I know you can watch these things online, but if you really like these shows and you want to be able to watch them whenever you want, and you're not in the whole digital formatting or anything like that, you know, you can buy these movies physically. You can have them. Um, I'm more into that. Um, I'm not. I'm not really sold on the whole digital thing yet, just because it's not like readily available and not like priced very well right now. It's not like you can go out and buy like like it's not like easily attainable. Like I can't go to any store in my area and get those because I might have to go out of my way to buy you know like uh, a place to store them. You know how to transfer them to there and you know I have to buy the transfer them and I don't know you know how how that content's protected and like I don't know it's just like it's not like a perfect thing yet they haven't got it down to where hey if I buy this movie do I have to ever buy it again because I already downloaded it like once shouldn't have to pay for a download again if it's a digital download and I supposedly own it then I shouldn't have to download it again you know so that's the kind of the thing the media I have about the whole that whole thing uh, so, you know, TV shows, if I really, really like it, I, I really haven't gotten to buying TV shows lately. I would probably buy, like, Family Guy because I'm a huge Family Guy fan. Um, but, you know, anyway, let's go move on to the shows again that you can check out if you've never checked out before. Um, you know, Heroes is a really good show if you, like, want to keep something like that um, in your collection. Necessarily shows that like, kind of got canceled or really like got, kind of got interrupted and ended up being kind of a crap fest. You know, I don't know if I'd hold on to, um, or a lot of them I probably watch and then just turn on resell. You know, so somebody else will, could put them in a collection. But some of the shows, you know, oh, uh, you know, unless they're really really good. I mean, from beginning to end of the series, from when they stopped making the shows. You know, it's not really, like, Prison Break is basically a story. Like, from beginning to end, it's a story that's being told, and it has to end at some point. It ends, great show, I think it's like five seasons, six seasons, five seasons, I think it was like five seasons, but it's amazing. Um, now, Heroes, it kind of got interrupted because of the writer striking, and it funked the whole flow up. It funked the whole flow up, so, you know, I don't think it's really worth keeping. You know, get it, watch it, resell it on Amazon. Um, some people may disagree with me. Um, the same thing with Lost. It's like it's like a really good show, but I can't see you know like like Murder of Children. You can sit down and watch an episode, and then like you know a couple months you might want to watch that episode again. Like something like Lost or something like a Heroes. Like would you really want to watch that episode again? You know, in two months' time or something. That's that, that's that's what I call the rewatchability uh, factor. Is because you know, like w what really is that rewatchability factor? Like that's what makes me want to buy a movie if I can't. If I can't want to, if I don't want to rewatch it within, you know, three to four months, why get it? That's my whole, that's what the whole logic about this. Like, why am I gonna buy, you know, Doctor Doolittle when I'm not gonna want to watch it in, in, you know, three or four months time? When am I gonna watch it the next time? You know, it's like probably not a while. So there's no need to get it. That's what I always think about when I go to buy a movie. It's like, is it really worth it? And the same thing with TV series is, you know, like, do I really like the show this much to invest my money in it? In an economy that's kind of not very well, even when the economy was booming, I'm not going to go out and buy, you know, Shirley Temple on DVD when, yeah, it may be a good movie, but will I want to watch that again someday within, like, a year span? Is it really worth buying it now, or can I wait? You know, that's the thing. So that's what my whole rewatchability factor, if I ever talk about that in the videos, that's why I'm talking about that, um, because that's just the way I feel. Um, so some other shows would be, like I said, Prison Break, Lost would be a good one to buy and watch and then resell. Um, uh, some other shows, uh, I heard Weeds is pretty good. I haven't watched it, but I heard it's pretty good. Um, um, hmm. Ugh. Um, I would say... Uh, Squidbillies would be a good one too. If you ever heard of Squid Squidbillies, um, a very adult cartoon. If you've never seen them, check them out. Uh, I think Aqua Teen Hunger Force would. It maybe have a rewatchability factor. I would. I would think it would be good. 
don't know. I, I'm still skeptical on that, in that series. I'm not really too sure. I like Squid Boys, and I'd watch that. I watched numerous episodes over and over again. It's hilarious. Um, uh, Futurama, uh, really, really good. Uh, definitely, definitely worth buying. Um, and they got some movies or something out now. I don't know what's going on with that. Um, I'd probably buy the movies though too. Yeah, those are pretty rewatchable. <laughs> Can't talk. Get attacked by the yawning monster. Um, yeah, there you go. I've been watching a lot of things online. I'm not saying whether it's legal or not. Yeah. Uh, been watching a lot of Dexter. Dexter, getting caught up with that. So, a great series like that, Dexter. Definitely check out Dexter if you've never checked that out. Great story, and it's still going. So, um, pretty good show. Um, Supernatural, an amazing show. I actually thought the show ended. And then I hear, oh, it's still going. I'm like, what? Like, the way the show is going, I figured it had to have already ended. Uh, it's the way they, they did the series, um, you know. Uh, there is a good show called True Calling. Uh, if you haven't ever checked that out, check that out. Um, like I said, it's not really worth keeping, but um, they have the whole complete series out now. And I never even got to see the second season. I've seen the first season. Um, at some point, I'm going to sit down and watch the second season and see what happened, how it ended. Um... Basically, it ends up being a good versus evil uh, at the end of the show. And uh, Jason Priestley, I think from now to now, he ends up showing up uh, at the end of the first season. And that kind of got me interested. And I never got to see the second season and see what happened. So, uh, Lisa Disco, or however you're saying her name, uh, that's been in multiple series as they got shut down. I don't know what's going on. I just think she has a curse or something on her on every show she's in. Um, uh, I think she was in Alias. I've never really seen that. I heard that was pretty good, too. Check out Alias, too. I heard it was really good, dude. That's how I got to check him out. Uh, Millennium's really good. Uh, supposedly, um, Twilight Zone, I guess they have those out on DVD now. Um, I don't think Dark Shadow is out yet. It's on DVD, I think. I think. There's some things that had not even come out on DVD yet. DVD yet. But now since Blu-ray came out, a lot of times, a lot, I think now they might stop and then just go and put it on Blu-ray. Um, but they'll probably still want to put it on DVD, too, uh, for the cheaper people, because Blu-ray is still quite expensive um, until they get the cost down on the Blu-ray. DVD will probably still be out there in the format. It'll just be kind of like a 45. There's the regular big vinyl back in the day. <laughs> anyway. Well, I'm not going to make this video too long. We just I want to get some ideas, some series out there. If you've never heard of some TV series, if you, know, you want some ideas, what to go pick up, um, there's some ideas. Um, you know, and definitely check out Amazon. Um, I, I, I do work for Amazon, but I don't have anything to do. You know, I always look on there to find like, great deals, like go in and use. Like, even if you don't want to buy them brand new, like, oh, man, I don't want to pay 20 bucks for this. Go look at the new and the used underneath of that price. And see if they have something you want under there because sometimes the somebody will be like somebody will now watch like Family Guy and I know Family Guy is a great example and like right now Family Guy is actually pretty reasonable in the store you can get twenty bucks for sometimes two seasons of the new of the early versions but you can actually get on Amazon and I think and buy them for like I want to say like most of the seasons now you can get for and the actual seasons the original seasons that came out. And they probably have more features because sometimes when they get the double pack, they'll just come with the with the shows and that's it, which is fine. But you know, if you wanted you know the special cuts and things like that, the commentary and things, sometimes they won't include that. Oh. Um, so if you go on Amazon, a lot of Family Guys, they're like you know, they're like three and four dollars a piece, like the earlier seasons, and you can find them used. So somebody might have watched them and got tired of them. And, you know, maybe just got down in the house and I could get tired of the family guy. But anyway, some people just want to get rid of it. And so, and they might have just, you know, got the Blu-ray version or something of them. Or even just want to get rid of the DVD. But you can find DVD versions of a lot of these shows really cheap on Amazon uh, and other places too, I'm sure. Uh, on eBay too. But uh, Amazon, you see them, you can find them for cheap on there. And people are actually listing them for like 3 or $4 for the whole entire set. So. Uh, and that goes for a lot of the ones. Uh, another show I want to talk about was Renegade, too. I love Renegade. And I'm definitely going to want to buy that series. Um, I love that show. Lorenzo Lamas. Basically, the only thing that he's really done, like, tremendous. Like, if you want to pick, you want to watch a really, really good uh, crime, a fugitive show, 
this is the show to, to, to buy. You will be surprised. If you think Lorenzo Lamas, you're like, what? Who the hell is that guy? Didn't he have a reality show? Yes, he did have a reality show. Why did he have a reality show? Because this is what made him popular. This show is what broke him off to do the acting thing, which didn't really work too well. Anyway, definitely check out Renegade, though. It's his best work, and it is amazing. And how he didn't get big, I have no idea. I just don't think, like, he got casted in the right roles uh, because I think he's a really talented actor. He's just... It just didn't work. It didn't work out for him. Um, thank God for uh, him having a hot daughter, and probably that's how he got his own show and reality show. But um, yeah, definitely check out uh, Renegade and some other stuff that I talked about in this video. Thanks for watching, and this has been TV shows you should purchase, and why, and things maybe you should not. I don't know. Hope you had fun watching it. Later.